Hey everyone, it's Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom. Welcome back to B-School. If you're new to our little hive here, let me catch you up on what's been going on. In early May, we bought two packages of bees and installed them into new hives. At the end of May, we installed a third hive. Within days, that third hive left the coop never to be seen again. The other two hives are kind of a mixed bag. One hive is doing really, really well. The other hive is very weak and I'm concerned that we will lose that hive in the very near future. Today, I'm gonna to show you into each of those hives and I'm also gonna to talk to you a little bit about the different types of bees. There are three types of bees inside any honeybee hive. There is one queen bee, there are some, not very many, but some male drone bees, and the entire rest of the hive, well over 90% of the hive, are female worker bees. I'll ruin the surprise for you. Every single meaningful job that is done inside a honeybee hive is done by a female honeybee. First off, let's talk about the male drone bees because their job is pretty simple. Their only job in the hive is to fly out every morning and fly around in the air and hope that a queen honeybee shows up that they can mate with. That is literally their only job. And if they complete their job and do mate with a honeybee queen, they die instantly afterwards. Also, in the fall and winter months in a honeybee hive, the males have literally no purpose for the hive for survival in the winter. And so the female honeybees push the males out of the hive and kick them out into the cold and so that they starve and die in the cold. And so in the winter time in a honeybee hive, the hive is 100% female. The queen bee has a number of really important jobs. If there's no queen bee, there is no honeybee hive. The queen's main job is to lay eggs. A queen honeybee can lay up to 2,000 eggs every single day. And so that is her main job because a honeybee's strength depends on, on the strength of the hive. Female worker bees have a number of different jobs in the hive. One really important job is to go out to flowers and collect nectar and pollen and bring that into the hive. Inside the hive, there's a number of other jobs as well. Bees need to be making honeycomb, producing wax with their wax glands, so they have a place to store that honey, as well as a place to, to rear their young and to, to hatch those eggs that the queen lays. Uh, there's bees that guard the entrance to the hive. There's bees that fan the honey to, uh, to get water out of it so that it's uh, considered uh, ready to be capped off into the hive and so it can be stored until the bees are ready to use it. Uh, there's bees that uh, take care of the young, that help do different things throughout the process of rearing those young. And there's also bees that are specifically attendants to the queen. The queen is the only bee in the hive that poops inside the hive. And so there's actually bees that their job is to take the queen's poop and get it out of the hive so that they can keep, keep a, uh, a clean hive environment for everybody else in that hive. So the concept of a hive society is fascinating where the, the, the entire strength of the colony depends on them all working together in every facet of their life. So it's a really interesting concept and one that I witness every time I open up my beehive. Okay, here's our first hive. Now, this hive is not doing well at all. They've really not expanded their numbers at all. And so I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do to, I might decide to replace the queen and see if I can get some bees that better uh, that are better producers here. So this hive is surprisingly weak. So I have to kind of cut some comb. We've kind of built some weird comb here. Okay. So you can see that the queen has been laying eggs. And this, this one they built kind of funky, so there's another layer inside here. So there seems to be some laying going on, but boy oh boy, it's not very much. Okay, let's compare that hive with this hive, which is doing really well. Keep in mind, both of these hives had the same amount of bees in them about a month ago. I added a second box to this hive less than a week ago. And looky there. So in less than a week, they've already come up into the second box and are already making honeycomb in the second box here. So let's get an idea of how they're doing. Watch out, girl. I'm going to use my hive tool to bust this loose. Okay. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead, I'll smoke them a little bit, and you can kind of see how the smoke helps kind of drive them down into the hive. 
kind of calms them down. You don't need much. Okay, so in less than a week here, so they've built all this honeycomb and you can see they're filling this up with nectar and there's some pollen in here as well. So that's all new honeycomb that they've built. And it looks like they have, looks like at least three frames here they've started to fill out. You can feel that they've glued this frame to the box beneath it. So I'm having to kind of bust up some burr comb that they've built where they don't need it. And I bet, yeah, see, so look at all that. Okay, so the queen has started to lay eggs up into here, which is what I was thinking was gonna happen. My concern was that with just one hive, she didn't have enough room to lay the number of eggs that she was laying each day. So she's clearly moved up into this hive box. It's also really important to put these back in the same order that I pull them out in, and in the same direction, because the bees get used to where things are in a hive and it really messes with them if you change the order of everything. Okay, again, less than a week. Yeah, so you can see hopefully those cells are full of larva. So in not too long, they're gonna cap those off and we'll have new bees here soon. So this frame is mostly honey. You can see all this capped off with the white. That is all honey. And it looks like they're starting to fill these cells with honey down here as well. So typically in a hive, you would have the brood or the place where they're raising the young is gonna be in the center of the hive. And the queen is gonna actually work in a circle pattern through those center frames of a hive. That's why you use two of these deep frames because that's the right height for the queen to work through. Again, I'm super happy with this hive. It's really strong. Okay, that's all capped brood right there. See, same on the other side. So some of those are starting to hatch on that side, it looks like. Again, they have honey along the edges because that's ready to go when these hatch, they're ready to feed them right away. Thank you for coming inside the hive with me today. Check back every two weeks for a new Bee School video. And remember, our videos are available on our Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels. We hope to see you next time.